That's why in this video, I'm going to go over some of the most important shotgun tips I have learned that have helped me improve my shotgun aim. Firstly, one of the biggest problems people have that I've noticed with shotguns is they panic too much and shoot without actually taking the time to line up their shots. There's no benefit to shooting quickly if you're missing all your shots. So if you're still somebody who's working on improving your shotgun aim, I'd recommend slowing down the pace at which you take your shots and spend just a little more time lining up your shots. Once you feel comfortable doing this, you can try to speed up the pace. But like I said, if you're starting, it's better to take it slow and then ramp up over time. The other big problem I've had, and I've noticed other people have, is they turn their sensitivity up way too much to be effective with a shotgun. When you are in a shotgun fight, it goes without saying that you're going to be a little nervous and jittery, which means that if you have a high sensitivity, it's going to be very easy to lose control of your cursor and start shooting all around your enemy. If this sounds like one of your problems, try lowering your sensitivity a bit, and you'll notice almost instantly how much easier aiming really is in close quarters. This was actually one of my biggest problems that I experienced, and I didn't even really realize it until somebody told me to lower my sensitivity, and once I tried that out, um, my shotgun aim improved a ton. Another problem you might be having is that you aren't hitting enough of your pellets. So even though your cursor is on the opponent, your shots are only hitting for like, say, 20 damage. There are two main ways to fix this. One way is to close the gap between you and your opponent, and the other is to decrease the spread on your shotgun shots. The first solution is pretty self-explanatory. The closer you are to your opponent, the more likely more pellets are going to hit, and so you're going to deal more damage. But a lot of people don't know that you can actually also reduce the spread on your shotgun shots, um, and you can do this by crouching. So what I like to do, and what works really well for me, is a little process where after you take a shot, you jump one way, crouch the other, and then shoot and repeat. As you jump and crouch unpredictably, it will be harder for your opponent to gauge where you're going to be, and so it'll be hard for them to line up their shot. Also, if they have to constantly guess if you're going to jump or crouch, it'll give you a little bit of extra time to line up a shot of your own. On top of all this, your shot is going to be more accurate from that half second of crouching, so overall this is a really good strategy to practice in close quarter one-on-one -on -one fights. If you really want to perfect this strategy and kind of take it to the next level, you can also add placing a wall or some sort of barrier in between you and your enemy after you shoot. So if they're below you, you crouch shoot and then place a floor under you so that they can't shoot you. If they're in front, you could jump, crouch, shoot, then place a wall. But whatever way you do it, adding that little barrier in between you and your opponent is going to help you a lot um, in coming on, out on top in a 1v1 fight, even if the other person has better aim than you. The final quick tip I'd like to mention in this video um, is something called the chest to head method for aiming with shotguns. Personally, I've never found this strategy to be much better than just aiming how I normally do, but a lot of people on YouTube have said this method helps them hit shots, so I wanted to mention it quickly. It works just like the name suggests. What you want to do when aiming is line up your shot on their chest and then slowly drag your cursor up onto their head and shoot once your cursor crosses their head. A lot of console players have said that the strategy works well for them, helps them deal more headshot damage, um, and overall is easier for them to aim with. Like I said, I don't notice a difference, but maybe that's just because I'm on PC or I just have a different aiming style. So I would give it a try, um, and maybe it'll work for you. Alright, that is going to wrap things up for this video.